Can you use Anki to learn anatomy? Well, yes, I use Anki to learn anatomy and I've used it for the past two years or so and it's helped me a lot. There are two decks that I think that will help you learn anatomy and show you pretty much every structure, every muscle, every bone that you'll need to know for your in-house lecture exams, like your practical exams when you're dissecting, and also what you need to know for the step one exam. In this video, I'm gonna take you through those two additional Anki decks that I think will help you learn everything you need to know about anatomy for medical school and for step one, and how to use these decks on a day-to-day -day basis when you're learning in school. If you don't know me, my name is Zach, and I'm a second year medical student in Philadelphia. As a disclaimer, this is not a replacement for the Cadaver Lab. If you have access to the Cadaver Lab, use it. Actually handling and dissecting the human body is an amazing opportunity and gift. Let's get into it. What are the two decks I would use? I would use the Michigan Anatomy deck and I would also use the 100 Concepts Anatomy Anki deck. If you wanted to create kind of a prioritization for what to know for step one, I would do use the Anking deck anatomy, then the 100 Concepts deck anatomy, and then way, way, way down the line in the distance, I would use the Michigan Anatomy deck. The Michigan Anatomy deck has really nice pictures and really nice structures, but it's really low yield in regards to step one. In regards to your in-house practicals or what your medical school or wherever you are will test you on in your class about anatomy, I would use the Michigan Anatomy deck as your first priority, because this is really gonna give you an image that's pretty close to what you're learning and going to be tested on in your actual exam. Okay, so the first deck, the first deck is the Michigan deck. I'm gonna link that down below, but this is gonna be your school specific beast. Let's just go into it on my computer. I have it over here and you can see that it's got everything, abdominal wall, interior neck, and it's really nicely tagged. And what each deck and each card actually is going to be is it's gonna be an image occlusion. So what might pop up is you'll see this, but this part, occipital condyles will be grayed out and you'll have to know, okay, this is pointing to the occipital condyle. These are some really amazing pictures and diagrams and this is as close or pretty close to what you will actually see in the anatomy lab. So come time to exam day when they label something on the body and you have to be like, what is that? It will look very similar to this. Now everyone's human body is different, but this is gonna be pretty close to what you're actually gonna see in the anatomy lab. So how do you actually study for your exam using this deck? Well, every school should have a structure list. I'm just using this kind of structure list as an example, and this is from the University of Michigan Med School, but you can see it gives you everything you need to know, scapula, spine of scapula, medial border, and every school should give you this list before you take your practical exam. And then what I would do is go through this list and compare it side by side with the Michigan Anatomy deck. So let's say we need to learn about the shoulder and the scapula and stuff like that. I'd sort by date created on the top right here because they're created in a logical order. And I'd go through these and see, okay, I probably need to know this. So I'll unsuspend, command J, command J, command J. Probably don't need to know this. Oh, this looks like I might need to know it. Command J, Command J, Command J. And this may take you a couple minutes to go through this entire kind of section on the left here. If you see this, this is where I'm going from. It'll say blue link as a tag on the left and it'll say shoulder on the left here. So when would I do this? Well, I would probably optimally like to do this the day before anatomy lab so I can learn these structures before I actually go into the lab. Or in dire times, which is what I actually end up usually doing, two or three days before my in-house practical exam, I'll go through this. One other quick thing I'd like to throw in is the University of Michigan also offers some amazing practice questions for free. If you just go to the website here, which I will link, you can scroll down to whichever thing you need to learn so let's just keep on that kind of shoulder theme if you go to shoulder in the brachial plexus you can see there's just a slideshow here of questions and these are really good questions with really good descriptions and if you understand and can handle these questions you will do fine on your test in regards to anatomy bottom line how should you use this michigan anki deck well before you take your test or the day before you go into anatomy lab scroll through this and see what structures you need to learn and study them from anki and then do some practice questions from the michigan site after you take the exam, suspend these cards. You won't be using them again, and they're way too low yield to be adding to your daily card count for step one. So I don't think I could get through any video without mentioning the Onking at least once. So the Onking actually has some decent anatomy resources. Again, they're not gonna be as thorough as, as and as in-depth in identifying structures like the Michigan deck. But this is where you're gonna have your clinically oriented anatomy and information that's gonna definitely show up on step one and probably will show up on your school test that isn't the anatomy part. If you've never heard me mention the Onking before, I'll put a video somewhere up here that's kind of the initial guide through on how to use Anki with the Onking for medical school. For example, right now I'm studying neurology 
in medical school and you can see that this kind of this thing right here seems like some anatomy right and this is anatomy and this but this is anatomy from the on king deck and i would learn this from the on king deck the way i'll use this on king deck to learn anatomy is usually after the week i'll kind of go through my deck and again i'm going to go through two decks i'm going to go to on king I'm gonna go to Zonky step decks and I'm gonna go to whichever thing I'm learning. I'm gonna go to sort by date created because it's organized in a fairly logical fashion. And then I'm just gonna scroll through and I'm gonna see, okay, is this, does this seem relevant? Does this seem, as you can see, I've already gone through a good amount of cards here, but I might get somewhere farther along. And as I start getting towards here, I'll think, okay, this is not relevant. So I'm not gonna unsuspend it. Hmm, this might be some relevant kind of anatomy stuff. So I'll unsuspend it. And that's what I would do every week when I'm done with like an anatomy block or an anatomy section, I would go to the On King deck and just scroll through by date created and see if there's any new things that you can unsuspend that you cover that week. However, if you depend on the On King to learn all of your anatomy for med school, you will not do well on your practicals. You just won't do well. It doesn't have pictures and diagrams even close to what you'll see with the Michigan anatomy deck. And when you get to the day when you have to identify a structure in a human body, these pictures up here will not help you at all. So bottom line, how are you gonna use the On King with medical school? At the end of every week, I would go to Dex, Zonky step decks and whatever section you're on. So for example, you're on cardiovascular and kind of scroll through by date created and see if you can see any anatomy cards that are relevant and then unsuspend those cards. So the final anatomy Anki deck we're gonna look at is the 100 Concepts Anatomy Anki deck. Now this deck is only 300 cards, so it's fairly small, but I find it really fills in the gaps that the Anking misses in regards to step one relevant anatomy information. So how I use it is kind of very similarly to how I use the On King deck. After I learn something in anatomy, I might go through this deck and say, okay, this seems kind of relevant to what I was just learning, I'll unsuspend it. This seems relevant to what I was learning, I'll unsuspend it. Yes, there might be the occasional overlap with On King, but I wouldn't worry about that in the grand scheme of things. There's only 300 cards here max. It will make a negligible difference in your daily card count for reviews. If you really think you're seeing this card too much and it's covered by another card, just when you see it on the Anki deck, just hit shift two or the at sign and that'll suspend a card while you're studying. So how would I use all of this together? Well, in an ideal world, what I would do is I would wanna go through each one of these decks before I learn that information in the cadaver lab. So that means I would go through the Michigan deck, see if I can find all the relevant pictures and diagrams. I would go through the On King deck and see if I can find all the relevant diagrams. I would go through the 100 Concepts deck and see if I can find all the relevant cards. Then come exam time, I've re been reviewing them at a regular schedule anyway because of the way Anki algorithm works, so I need, don't need to really worry about restudying them. However, medical school is not the ideal world. I personally found that I just don't have the time to go through every single structure on the Michigan neck or whatever before I get into the cadaver lab. What I ended up doing and what I still do today is I prioritize the On King and 100 Concepts Anki decks during the week. So during the week, if I learn any anatomy things, I will find them in that those two decks and study and learn those inf that information because that information is gonna stay relevant all throughout medical school and before I take step one. Then come maybe two or three days before my actual anatomy practical or my in-person or online or structure identifying practical, what I'll do is I'll just cram the Michigan deck and see if I can memorize as many structures as possible in this Michigan deck before the test. And I know this goes against everything Anki is meant for, but I'm not using this actual deck for for long-term retention, I'm using this deck for short-term retention, which is why I can kind of break the rules and only study this deck for two or three days because I don't need to know this information in the long-term for step. Then, as soon as I finish the exam, I'll suspend all the Michigan cards. I'll suspend all the Michigan cards that I've been studying because again, I don't wanna be seeing those in my reviews. Bottom, bottom line, how would I use these three decks to study anatomy during medical school? Well, I would use the 100 Concepts and On King deck during the week as I learn the information. And then before I take the exam, I would use the Michigan deck to kind of cram these structures into my brain. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.